Rumors of O.J. Simpson and Kris Jenner having a steamy affair. I answered the phone and it was a call from jail. It was O.J. O.J. Simpson accused of brutally slaughtering his ex-wife, Nicole Simpson. Chris's best friend. I will always feel guilty. Some people think, like, you might be Khloe Kardashian's real dad. I always thought Chris was a cute girl. Did O.J. ever try to reach out to you at all? My loyalty was with Nicole and her family. It sounds like the Kardashian-Jenner family might be facing their biggest scandal yet. Rumors are swirling that O.J. Simpson's recent passing has brought some shocking revelations to light, implicating Kris Jenner in a crime that's rocked Hollywood to its core. According to whispers in the gossip mill, a letter allegedly penned by O.J. before his passing claims that Kris Jenner was involved in the murder of Nicole Brown, O.J.'s ex-wife. I was coming back from taking the kids to school and um, I was supposed to meet Nicole. She and I were supposed to have lunch. She said she wanted to show me some things and talk about what was in her safe. Well, I was gonna change and go meet her. Her mom called me. I picked up the phone and she actually said, Nicole's been shot. I said, okay, I'm on my way, where do I go? And she said, no, she, she didn't make it. O.J. Simpson accused of killing his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. That's probably what she wanted to reveal to me, which broke my heart. I will always feel guilty that I didn't pay more attention. In the letter, OJ describes how his relationship with Chris was the root cause of his tumultuous relationship with Nicole, ultimately leading to her tragic demise. If these rumors hold any truth, it could spell disaster for Chris Jenner and the entire Kardashian-Jenner clan. Facing allegations of involvement in such a high-profile crime would undoubtedly tarnish their reputation and could have serious legal consequences. OJ Simpson was once considered Chris Jenner's best friend, alongside his late wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. The Kardashian family has a long history with O.J. Simpson, and it started long before his double murder trial. The former athlete, who died at age 76 on April 10th, became best friends with famed attorney Robert Kardashian Sr. after the pair met in college. Through marriage, Robert Sr.'s eventual ex-wife, Kris Jenner, also became one of O.J.'s best friends, she previously told People, as well as the best friend of his then-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. The Kardashian kids even referred to them as auntie and uncle at the height of the family's friendship. That relationship didn't last forever, though, at least not for Jenner. When OJ was accused of murdering Nicole and friend Ronald Goldman, Jenner took the side of her deceased friend. Meanwhile, Jenner's husband Robert Sr. went on to represent Simpson in his double murder trial. Right before the trial started, Robert sat down and wrote us a handwritten letter and just said, look, I know you don't agree with what is going down here, but this is what I have to do for my friend, Jenner said while appearing on a 2009 episode of Dr. Phil. He believed in what he was doing and he was asking us for his support. The murder trial seemingly split the Kardashian-Jenner family, with Jenner even sitting on Nicole's side of the courtroom while her husband served for the defense. OJ was acquitted of the charges though he was found liable for the deaths and paid out millions to the victims' families. Kim Kardashian, who is now pursuing her own law career, remembered taking her father's side during the trial, while Mom Jenner wrote in her 2011 memoir, Kris Jenner, and all things Kardashian that Nicole had detailed years of physical abuse by OJ to Jenner, so she could act as a witness if needed in the future. We just always thought my dad was the smartest person in the world, and he really believed in his friend, Kim told Rolling Stone in 2015. Though OJ was acquitted of the double murder, he spent nine years in prison starting in 2008 after he was charged with armed robbery and kidnapping. He was released on parole in 2017 after the minimum time served. The relationship between the Kardashian family and OJ dissolved following the trial and Robert Sr.'s death, but their names have remained intertwined in the media. Jenner previously shot down rumors that she had an affair with OJ. Some rumors went so far as to allege he's Khloe Kardashian's true father. Fans have become fixated on the theory that Khloe Kardashian's biological father might be someone other than the late Robert Kardashian. Over the years, numerous speculations have circulated regarding regarding the Kardashian-Jenner family, with the issue of Khloe's paternity surfacing multiple times. This speculation is often fueled by the apparent
apparent differences in Chloe's physical appearance compared to her siblings. She has lighter skin, curlier natural hair, and has different facial features when compared to the other Kardashian children. She's also significantly taller at 5'10", she towers over sister Courtney at 5'1", and sister Kim at 5'3". Granted, today the sisters do look more alike. However, Chloe has admitted to having procedures done on her face and using fillers. When looking back at old photos of the Kardashians as children, Chloe stands out in the photos looking more like a family friend than actually being part of the family. Not only does Chloe look different from the rest of her famous family, but her mother, Kris Jenner, has admitted to being unfaithful to her husband, Robert Kardashian, the father of Courtney, Kim, Robert Jenner, and potentially Chloe. Kris wrote about her infidelity in her 2011 memoir, Kris Jenner and All Things Kardashian. Kris opened up about cheating on her husband, Robert Kardashian Sr., in 1989. This came after years of scrutiny over how different Chloe looks to her siblings because even though this affair happened in 1989, five years after Chloe was born, fans have been speculating that it's possible that Chris could have been unfaithful around Chloe's conception. Ever since my book came out, people have been coming out of the woodwork with false accusations like Robert Kardashian's ex-wives accusing me of not being faithful when Chloe was conceived. Not true. Chloe has been feeling particularly down due to her relationship with Tristan Thompson, who was cheated on Chloe multiple times. In case you missed it, Chris sat Chloe down one on one to talk about Tristan Thompson's infidelity, leaving Chloe feeling defensive and uncomfortable. In essence, Chris said during their conversation that she was concerned Chloe would regret not giving Tristan another chance despite the several times he had strayed on her. Most famously, Tristan expressed his regret to Chloe in public last year for putting her through heart break and humiliation, following the revelation that he had fathered a child outside of their relationship. Later on, we learned that Chloe and Tristan were also secretly engaged at the time and getting ready to become parents again to a child born via surrogate. Chris is asking Chloe to rethink giving Tristan yet another chance. While Chloe admits that Tristan is a great guy, she can't see taking someone back who treated her so terribly. Chloe then calls out her mom for cheating on Robert Kardashian, asking her what her mindset was when she cheated. If you're gonna be devastated, then why'd you do what you did? I don't think, I don't think What was thinking. mindset when you cheated? You're asking me? Who the f else am I talking to? Chris then goes on to explain that cheating on Robert Kardashian Sr. was her biggest life regret. I don't know, because he was such a great husband and such a great dad, and I think that I fell into a situation where I thought that the grass was greener somewhere else. And I made a huge mistake. I'm, that's like my life's biggest regret. You can sense the feeling of guilt on Chris's end, and you can tell she knows that her own personal infidelity has affected Chloe the most because this is what added fuel to the paternity scandal fire. Chris has tried to make this right for a few years now, urging Chloe to do a paternity test to put the rumors to bed once and for all. Chloe has refused and claims that she doesn't care what people think, and that in her eyes, Robert Kardashian is and always will be her friend. My my dad is Robert Kardashian. My other dad is Bruce Jenner. If you f other people during the same time and you do not know, go on Maury. Like, I don't care. While everyone has the right to do as they please, fans have speculated that Chloe's resistance to doing a DNA test was so that she wouldn't find out that she wasn't really a Kardashian. I mean, it could have put to rest the speculation of Chloe's biological dad, which let us tell you there is no shortage of candidates on this list. Most notably, people have speculated that Chloe's biological father is either Alex Rolden or O.J. Simpson. Alex Rolden was Kris Jenner's hairstylist for many years and was close to the family. Some fans believe that Alex and Chloe look freakishly alike, and he's also much taller than the late Robert Kardashian, who was only 5'7", which could explain where Chloe got her height from. However, Robert Kardashian Jr. is 6'1", which does make him taller than both of his parents, so really these claims are just circumstantial. At one point, Kylie Jenner posted a photo of Chloe and Alex on Instagram with a caption, first official photo of my sister and her dad, like 
like father, like daughter, which was clearly meant to be a joke because Momager Chris would have shut it down immediately if there were any truth behind the claim. There have also been many claims that Khloe Kardashian's real dad is O.J. Simpson. For context, O.J. Simpson and Robert Kardashian met back in 1967 and reconnected through a mutual friend when Robert was a lawyer and O.J. was playing for the Buffalo Bills. Chris met O.J. through Robert and became really good friends with O.J.'s second wife, Nicole Brown. The two couples were extremely close and the kids even called him Uncle O.J. There have been rumors that Chris and O.J. were more than just friends and may have passed the point of friendship around when Chloe was conceived. Some fans think that Chloe has resemblance to O.J. and some fans have pointed out that her daughter True also looks like O.J. Some fans think that Chloe Kardashian looks just like O.J. Simpson's daughter Sydney. When O.J. Simpson The Lost Confession premiered on Fox back in March, fans couldn't help but notice the resemblance she shares with Chloe. Fans were pretty much convinced that Chloe and Sydney were siblings after watching the special. One fan posted this on Instagram. So, I just watched Did OJ Confess on Fox. OJ, not only in these streets looking extra crazy, but I a thousand percent believe that Khloe Kardashian is his daughter because her and Sydney Simpson, pre-surgery, look like twins. However, some fans are refuting this theory because of Chris and OJ close friendship. Would Chris really cross that boundary and betray a friend like that? OJ himself has also refuted the rumors and says anyone who thinks otherwise is wrong. At one point, OJ's manager Norman Pardro claimed that OJ and Chris had an affair, but OJ claimed that Norman wasn't even his manager at the time when he made this false claim. Another person who tried to shift this narrative was Robert's second wife, Ellen. Ellen claimed that Robert believed that he wasn't Chloe's biological father and confessed this right before he passed from pancreatic cancer. Many people thought that Ellen was making this because these statements were made shortly after Ellen declared bankruptcy. Meanwhile, Chris has tried to make this right multiple times. She even convinced all of the Kardashian-Jenner kids to do a 23andMe DNA test to find out more about their backgrounds. When they were reviewed Viewing their test results, Chloe confirms that she has Middle Eastern DNA, which would confirm that she got this DNA from her father, Robert Kardashian, who is Armenian American. The Uclomo. 58% Euro, 41.6 Middle Eastern. You are my sister! Oh my god, we are sisters. Oh, and then I'm 1%. Lordy. Thank god, if you weren't Middle Eastern at all, we would take trouble. <laughs> However, the guilt hasn't left Kris Jenner completely. You can sense that there is still an urge to prove that she didn't cheat around when Chloe was born, and that Chloe is indeed Robert Kardashian's biological daughter. On an episode of The Kardashians, Chris seems to backtrack a little and tries to dispel the speculation. Chris made some pretty interesting comments about Chloe's son, Tatum who she shares with Tristan Thompson. Tatum was born via surrogate last July, and ever since Chloe shared the first photos of him, fans have been commenting about how much he looks like her younger brother, Rob Kardashian Jr. Kris Jenner says that she gets freaked out about how much Tatum resembles her ex, husband Robert Kardashian Sr. Chloe, this is the spitting image of your dad and your brother. It's freaking me out. Ah, uh, Tatum? Tatum is Robert Kardashian Sr. He is my ex-husband in a baby form. Chris then goes on to say something really interesting. She says that the DNA is real and looks off to the side, which some could speculate is a verbal cue when someone is not being honest. I look through those eyes and I see his little soul and I can just, yep, there he is. The DNA is real. But what do you guys think? Do you think Kris Jenner is trying to make up for years of rumors that Chloe had to endure because of her infidelity? Do you think Chloe's real dad is Robert Kardashian? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure you're subscribed to our channel.